Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener beauty, skincare, and more. And I am back today with a requested video that is all about my really simple SPF routine. We are headed into summer 2021. Very exciting. I'm gonna run you through my current routine, the products that I use, the products that I currently like. Tis the season, let's talk about SPF. Let's get into it. Actually, into before we dive into it, I will have all of the products listed below. You can see full in-depth reviews if you wanna, back on the site. If you like seeing videos like this and you want to keep seeing more, you can support this channel by quickly liking the video, subscribing to the channel. So there's a couple different ways I approach SPF. The truth of it is I haven't really had a beach day. I haven't just been outside all day. So why I'm telling you this, I have a different routine for days when I'm really out in the sun on a beach, hiking, which I rarely do, let's be honest, on a lake, on a boat. That's when I really just use a couple of products that I'm gonna tell you about in two seconds. And then there's the everyday SPF routine, which I'm really focusing on for this, but I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't tell you the other stuff too. So you're getting both use cases. So on those days where I'm in the sun, the sun is on my face for extended periods of time, I know there's still light that can affect and rays that can affect from the computer and the window. I get it. I get it. But I'm talking about the days when you're just like sun, face, boom. That's when I rely on straight up SPF, the reapplication. I'm not worried so much about evening out. I'm not so worried about coverage. Just really laying it on thick. So I will either use the My Shell Sun Shield in clear. I happen to love the tinted. I just recently got the clear. Big fan of both. Great price points, glass containers. This will go on first. It always goes on first for me under anything else that I put on. But like I said, there's not going to be a lot going on because they're sweating. It's like, what's the point? And then for reapplication, it makes it a lot easier because I don't have anything on top of it. I don't have a powder foundation. I don't have a bronzer. I don't have whatever. I can just reapply this on top. And if I want color, if I need color on the face, I would use something like the Tower 28 blush and I can just kind of pop that on. And on the lip, I'll use a multi tasker of which I've tried a ton. Maybe I could do a multitaskers roundup. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. If I need to reapply and I don't want to deal with the product and I just want to spray it on, but liberally, liberally, then I will use the 100% pure SPF 30 Yerba Mate Mist. Water resistant up to 80 minutes. Not like I'm jumping in the ocean, sadly, but there are pools here, so maybe there will be a pool time. This is what I love using. A friend of mine recommended it a long time ago, and it's also kind of like a setting spray if you're wearing makeup. It's not the same thing, okay? It's different, but still, I, I like to think of it that way. This is what I I will do. I want to do a quick reapplication. Face, decollete, big one, big one. Really, they all are. Arms, all of it. You can do this everywhere, but to be honest with you, I don't know if it's approved for face. Yes, it is approved for face, but please listen to what the brand advises and not what I do, okay? Let's just disclaimer that. Say, put it on your hands first and then pat it on your face. I, I don't do that, but don't listen to me. Listen to the brand. All right, now for everyday coverage, here's the deal. I use a lot of products that already have SPF in them. The thing is, I'm not really getting full coverage because I combine a lot of products. If you have a product that has SPF 35 and you're only using a pea size amount, you're not really doing much. I will use something as a base SPF, which I've been using, the Kinship. I, I'm really liking this. I was okay with it initially, but I have been leaning on it, using it up. I'm a fan of the little glow that you get here. And then I'll put maybe a tinted moisturizer or the Anika BB cream on top or something like that. Or I will use the My Shell, which makes another cameo. Wonderful SPF. Also another option is the Say Slip Tint. These are really the ones that I'm leaning on more for SPF coverage. And then there's also the powder situation, but I don't lean on powder strictly for my own SPF coverage. The other thing I want to note here is that people get very hyped up about SPF coverage, what is right and what is not right. This is my routine. I am not recommending that you follow this routine to a T. I'm recommending that you watch and be entertained and check out the products to see how they work in your routine, and if you're not sure, talk to an expert, speak to a dermatologist. They're gonna know a lot more than I'm gonna know. But this is what I do. It works for my skin, my age, my lifestyle. I've tried a lot of different SPFs over here, so you can search the channel for additional SPF products if you wanna explore those, or you can look on the site. I'm always going for mineral SPFs. I don't go for chemical. Mineral SPFs you can put on, you don't have to wait as long for them to soak into your skin, which is why it's important to put chemical ones on before you apply anything. But I like 
the mineral SPS with zinc oxide that have 20% or above. Not all of these have percentages that are 20% above, but that's really always my goal. And sometimes I'll use something like a straight up serious physical blocker on my nose. Anything that protrudes a little bit more on the face, you know, is gonna get hit. Ears, I'll wear a hat. I cover a lot with just physical clothing. <laughs> you know, when I'm outside, I'm not like wearing a poncho, but I don't really do the laying in the sun anymore. I like to get 15 minutes that hits my actual skin without the SPF, vitamin D. There are definitely more pieces to this equation, but I wanted to get this out to you. Hopefully it sparks some inspiration or it gives you some product ideas. And again, if you're looking for the best routine for your skin. Some people are more prone to burning than not. You know all the rest of it. Speak to an expert. In the meantime, that's what I'm doing this spring, summer. I'll let you know if it changes. I feel like it constantly evolves. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. I'm gonna go put all these away and get some sun. Like literally, I'm gonna go for a walk right now and get some sun. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys real soon. Until then.